Hello, uh, my name is Syed Mohedin. Uh, hail from Detroit, Michigan. Just want to congratulate you guys on starting your Emerging Leader Group. Uh, I am a local physician in Detroit. I work for the Detroit Medical Center, and I guess that's the day job, the one that pays me a little money. Uh, but my, my main job uh, that really drives my soul, frankly, is chairing the Emerging Leader Group for our local United Way, the, the United Way for Southeastern Michigan. And it, it's honestly, it's just been an incredible journey. I've been the chair for about nine months. And I think, you know, the thing, now that you guys are starting this chapter, the thing I want you guys to really think about is, uh, what we think about every day is, we have a chance, our generation has a chance to lead the future uh, of our cities and of our country. And, you know, Things are tough. Things are tough, and, and a lot of times it's easy to read the paper and complain about what you see. But you know, as, as people who are really you know part of a professional network and people with minds and hearts and talents, uh, the United Way is that perfect organization that brings the networks together, the governments, the corporations, and says, "What are our problems? How are we going to really identify the the root cause of these problems, and then how are we going to solve them?" Right? And you guys can literally be a part of that. You can be part of the, the creation, the problem solving, the, the strategies to get the word out. Uh, you, you guys can really be the game changers because I, I think without us, no organization is gonna go anywhere. Uh, but we have access to this group and you guys really need to own that. Um, we've done a couple things in Detroit just you know for you to know. Uh, our, our local United Way, we, we've looked at hunger and we've really broken it down into three ways. One, we've said, what is the United Way doing around hunger? And where can we really elevate that work, okay? And so for instance, they'll have an event with the kids with our, our local National Football League team, American you know, football. They're having an event with those players and our kids to, to, to really help them with the hunger issues and make them all uh, register into our uh, childhood uh, feeding programs, right? Um, where kids eat at school. So we're sending the volunteers, we're helping plan the event, it's a United Way event, all right? That's one. Two, uh, there's about 40 areas in Michigan that, uh, where the kids aren't getting fed enough and the kids uh, have poverty and hunger issues, right? A few of those areas, the United Way has not had any traction in building relationships and, and, and finding community partners and getting the kids fed, frankly, getting the kids fed. Because you can't eat, you can't read, and you can't read, you're not going to get anywhere in life. Right? So anyways, uh, using our network, using the Emerging Leader Network, we were able to identify the community partners, have the meetings, have the convenings, and build the necessary, uh, frankly, partnerships to, to drive the change we need. Right? Uh, and then the third is, again, around hunger. We had an event called the Ramadan Fight Against Hunger where, you know, you hit it where it matters most. So you got people in Ramadan, Muslims, they're not eating, they're committed to charity, uh, they're, they're really looking to, to solve community problems. Um, myself, being a Muslim, I was able to say, hey, we've got access. We've got an uh, umbrella of 30 mosques. We've got social, social organizations in need. Let's, let's bring what the United Way does best, which is advocate around hunger and feed people, uh, you know, in the hunger space anyways, and align that with the interests and the passions of the Muslim community, have a 30-day campaign. We did it. We raised uh, over $100,000 uh, for, for the effort. We uh, raised also, and separate to that, through canned food drives in like 15 different mosques, we, we were, it collected over 10 tons of food and distributed those, that food, and we really, we really started to move the needle. So here's what you guys need to know, okay? Um, whether you are solving problems uh, in your in your community because you know uh, you have a religious affiliation affiliation or your corporation say you work for UBS and UBS wants to be part of educational work you can uh, get involved in that uh, or or if you're like me a doctor you know we partner with the health the hospitals are doing uh, along with what the United Way is doing find that intersection drive it forward no matter what you want to do or where you are there is a place for you in the United Way to take it and drive it forward. And that's the challenge you have. Um, and, and, and for doing that, uh, you'll feel good about yourself. You'll have something that challenges your mind, your, your curiosity, and really inspires yourself and your future. Uh, 
And also, quite selfishly, one thing you don't realize when you get in, but assuming you have the heart and you have the intentions, it's gonna grow your it's gonna grow your network. You're gonna be next thing you know, you're gonna be working with your CEO or per people that work for your CEO, and and minimally people that are really high up in your companies are gonna see and acknowledge what you're doing because you're taking their social change agenda, and you're the one that's driving it, and that's the opportunity we have. So it's good for you personally, it's good for you professionally, and most importantly, it's good for your community. Uh, good luck, and and I hope you guys dominate.